Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, for amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Okay, so today's lesson is about the Christian refuses fan fanaticism. The Christian refuses fanaticism, okay? Uh, so I'm going to try how to do this in Arabic and English, but I'm going to try to do this in Arabic So I'm going to show you, okay? So I'm going to do this in Arabic and English, but I'm going to try to do this in Arabic and English, but I'm going to try to do this يقبل أفكارهم لكن يقبلهم كأشخاص إن هو يحبهم و ويصاحبهم. Okay, so here the idea. So today's lesson is about the Christian refuses fanatism. Okay, the next slide will explain what the word fanatism means. Does anybody know what the word fanatism means? Fanaticism, my bad, fanaticism. Does anybody know what the word fanaticism means? Anybody? Okay, I'll, uh, you'll get it by the next slide, okay? But t let's start first with today's verse, okay? Today's verse is, For God has not given, given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, okay? Uh, I'll read it one more time and then we'll keep moving on, okay? So today's verse is, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, okay? This verse is going to become relevant and important after a bit. Right now, it might not make sense why it relates to this idea of fan fan Fanaticism, fanaticism, but in a bit it will make sense, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, so what is fanaticism, okay? So fanaticism is this idea of your idea is wrong and I hate you and my idea is the only right idea and it doesn't matter, okay? It's basically this idea that everybody else around me is wrong and I am right. Everybody else's ideas, their beliefs, whatever is wrong. And my ideas and beliefs are the only ones that are right. Okay. So here you could see. So these people right here, do you see the people on my screen? The little earth with the guy and the other guy, right? This is what a fanatic sounds like. It's like I'm surrounded by idiots. Like all these people are wrong. Okay. So what is a fanatic? A fanatic is somebody that believes that everybody around them is wrong. And they're very narrow minded. They're the only people that are right. Okay. So these are fanatics, okay? And they define fanaticism, okay? Now, if we look at the left side of the screen, right? This picture right here, this picture is referring to how, like the devil sees fanatics. How does he see these people? So he goes, I love fanatics. They sure know how to hate, right? Because these people, right? By saying he's wrong and he's wrong and we're an idiot, all they're doing is just creating war, right? Which the devil loves to see, right? So by that idea, clearly God doesn't like fanaticism, right? He doesn't like fanatics. He doesn't like this, right? If the devil likes something, then clearly God doesn't like it, okay? So fanatics, again, and fanaticism. So fanaticism is the idea. Fanatics are the people that follow this idea. So fanaticism is the idea. Fanatics are the people, okay? So what is a fanatic? Is A fanatic is a person that believes that their idea is the only right idea, and they hate anybody else that doesn't agree with their idea, okay? So a fanatic is somebody that hates everybody else that doesn't agree with them. And it's all about my idea, my way, my idea, my way, okay? And God hates fanatics because they cause war and cause trouble. And God, and then the devil loves fanatics because they cause war, okay? So we get it. So we see how God and the devil like different, they like the exact opposite, right? So the devil likes these people. God hates these people. Loves everyone. But but, and he loves everyone equally, but that doesn't mean he doesn't disagree. So let me, ref he disagrees with how they do it. Does that make sense? So it's not that he like doesn't love them, right? But like, for example, like your parents love you all the time, but when you do something wrong, your parents disagree with you, right? They, th they, they know that what you did is wrong and they don't like what you did. So to say it better, it's like God loves the person, but he doesn't like the sin. God loves the person, but he doesn't like what he does or what he believes in. Do you get it? Does it make sense? Okay. So it, it's not God doesn't like the fanatic himself. God doesn't like 
what the fanatic does or what he believes. Okay. Perfect. So fanaticism is this idea that everybody else is wrong and I am right. And I hate them because they're different than me. Right. So how does fanaticism enter religion? Right. So here we, this picture shows these aliens, right. And they see the earth exploding. And it's like, as near as I can tell, they're fighting over which religion is the most peaceful. You see, like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how would you fight? Like fighting in itself is the opposite of peaceful. So if we're fighting over which religion is more peaceful, are we really peaceful? Like, no, because we're fighting, right? And the aliens are confused. Like, they're like, wow, look at these people. Like, they clearly don't understand what they're doing, right? And this, this idea is called denominationalism, okay? Denominationalism, okay? So the concept of denominationalism is I'm right and you're wrong. And it's not the fact that like I'm Coptic Orthodox and I love the Coptic Orthodox Church and I think the Coptic Orthodox Church is right. It's more of I'm Coptic Orthodox and he's Protestant and I hate him for being Protestant and I hope the Protestant Church like burns, right? And that's denominationalism, right? The Coptic Church refuses this idea of denominationalism, right? We shouldn't want to see other churches fail. We shouldn't want uh, to see other religions fail. We don't want to see other religions look bad, right? We want to make sure that they're all doing well, right? We want to make sure that all religions are doing well, okay? So this is the idea of denominationalism. And people really love this idea of denominationalism because it, it causes competition and people love competition. But like religion isn't a sport. Like, like I'm not supporting my team and you're supporting your team and I want to see your team lose. Like this isn't, this isn't what religion is. Religion is my own personal thing that I believe in that I want to get closer to God through, right? So therefore, denominationalism, wanting to see other religions fail and saying they suck and hating them, it is against what we preach. It's against the Bible, right? Some people get so caught up in this idea of denominationalism that they forget to actually be Christians, that they forget to act that like the church is an actual church. It's not just a soccer team that I'm supporting, right? So, uh, sorry, I mean, what do you what do you mean by it contradicts the whole point? Yes, yeah, anything doesn't, I know this lesson is a bit complicated because we moved on to seventh grade. So if anybody has any questions, just ask them. Oh yeah, yes, perfect, exactly, you're right, yes. That, that is exactly it, right? By saying that my religion is the most peaceful, clearly I'm not being peaceful. Yes, that, that you're getting the point precisely. Thank you, Mino, right? And so this is the idea of denominationalism and fanaticism, right? So fanaticism is just the general idea of like the person on the other side is wrong. like. I could be a fanatic in work. I could be a fanatic in church. I could be a fanatic in school. I could be a fanatic anywhere. Denominationalism is like a, a subset or like a area under fanaticism, right? So denominationalism is like the concept that relates to church specifically, right? So denominationalism is this idea that the other church sucks. The other, I want to see them lose, right? Like you'll hear like some people be like, oh, dude, those Muslims, like, they deserve that. Like, no, they didn't deserve that, right? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, how can you call yourself a Christian and look at them and say they deserve whatever happened to them? They deserve to, you know, go through whatever, right? This idea just doesn't make sense, right? So we can't buy into this idea of fanaticism and denominationalism, right? And then some of you might be asking, like, but shouldn't we know that our church is right and their church is wrong? This is exactly, this is, this is what the next slide is about, right? So, being 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 denomin like not abiding by denominationalism doesn't 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 have anything to do with believing the Coptic Orthodox Church is wrong, right? So for example, this first this verse on top, right? It says, "If you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all." Right? So the Bible tells us that if we don't fully believe that the Coptic Orthodox Church is the right church, then we're basically not even standing. Like. Like we're going to fall, like, right? Like we're, we're not being religious, right? So if you don't stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all, right? But on the same note, that same exact Bible tells us, test everything, hold on to the good, right? So this idea of if you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all, but test everything, hold on to what is good, right? I can never stand firm in my faith if I don't understand it. And that's where the test everything comes in and hold on to the good, right? Okay, so this is the concept, okay? So denominationalism, right? The idea of, oh, like we have to, you know, agree with others, right? We have to be, you know, like 
companions with them. We have to love them and we have to understand them is fine and dandy, right? Like that is true, right? I, I'm not going to hate somebody because they're not Coptic Orthodox, right? Pope Shenouda said it best. One guy once asked Pope Shenouda, he was like, Pope Shenouda uh, or Coptic Orthodox people, the only people going to heaven. And Pope Shenouda looks at him and laughs. He goes, if Coptic Orthodox people are the only people going to heaven, then wow, heaven is a very small place, right? And he goes, like, we can sit here and point fingers and act like we're the perfect church, but every church has its problems, right? Every church has its problems on the inside. Our church has the perfect faith, but our church still has its own problems on the inside. The faith is strong, you know, but everything has problems, right? And so Pope Shunna told him, like, no, like, we're not the only people that are going to heaven, right? Like, that doesn't make sense, right? So this is the first, there's four of these, by the way. There's four cures to fanat fanaticism. This is the first one, which is standing firm in the faith, right? Stand firm in the faith, but love others. Because th why is this included in a lesson? Because then some, some people will look at me and be like, oh, well, I'm accepting of all religions. I'm accepting of all people, right? So I'm not a fanatic. Well, yeah, cool. You're not a fanatic, but then you're also not like a strong Christian. So therefore you're, you're not religious, right? Like, like you're struggling to go to heaven, right? So the Wait, cure to fanatic. Huh? Me no. Wait, yeah. so you, so Paul said you don't have to be Coptic Orthodox to go to heaven? Who said Oh, you said like Pope Shenouda said that you know he, he, no, he, he, he said we're, we're not the only, he said we're not the only people that are going to heaven. But like so so let's say so 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 how does how does the church work? How does God work, right? If I don't know what is right, God isn't gonna judge me according to what I don't know. Right? Like if I don't know that I needed to so let's say I I know we all know in the Sunday school class that you have to be baptized to go to heaven, correct? Correct, Kuku? Kuku. Okay, I'll just keep moving. I'll answer. I'll keep answering the question. Okay, so we all know that we have to be Coptic Orthodox to go to heaven, right? Right. We, we, sorry, my bad. We all know that we have to be baptized to go to heaven, right? Yeah. So then I could choose not to get baptized. I will then not go to heaven, right? Because I have the right information and I didn't follow it. But will the guy in, in the middle of nowhere on an island that didn't know he needed to get baptized to go to heaven, will he not go to heaven? No, because he didn't know he needed to get baptized. So God is going to judge him accordingly, right? God is just. He's not going to judge mm -hmm. him according to something he didn't know, right? Well, so we have to be baptized to go to heaven? We have to be baptized because we know that. But I'm not going to, uh, right? Yeah. But somebody that doesn't know that isn't going to be judged according to that. Yeah. Like you will be judged according to what you know. Mm -hmm. you, you so like, point? so yeah, but so like basically if like that person doesn't know, like, so God isn't going to judge you on what you don't know, right? He's going to exactly. judge you. No. Yeah. He's going to judge so, like, you on what you know. So if like the person loves Jesus, but he doesn't know he needed to get baptized would like, would he still go ahead? Yeah, yes. It, like, like, like what I, what I think is, is yes. Right, because he didn't know that. He didn't know that he needed to get baptized. Right? Right. What? All right. That, that, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, okay. So you get the point. But then you yeah. can't say, oh, well, then I'm just going to, like, sit in my bed and, like, sleep and not try to know anything so I can be protected. Like, you're not going to trick God, right? Like, if you have the ability to know something, you should probably know it. Okay. All right. Also, I want to really highlight this test everything, hold on to the good thing, right? Like, if you ever have any questions about the church, like ask, like, please ask, please ask somebody, right? It's better that you ask somebody now before somebody asks you, because when somebody asks you and you don't have an answer, then that weakens your faith. So ask, okay? And if I don't have an answer, but so Michael doesn't have an answer, but so Mishoy doesn't have an answer, but so Fadi, but so Ahmed, anybody does, any one of these people doesn't have an answer, ask Abuna. If Abuna doesn't have an answer, ask Sina, so on and so forth, until you get an answer. Somebody out there has an answer. I can guarantee you that. Okay, so I should not get my mobile already. So the idea that fanaticism, the fanaticism, means that I am not a person who is different from me, who is different from me, who is different from me, right? So the idea is wrong. The idea that I am not a person who is different from me, I am not a person who is different from me, who is different from all people. God told us that we love our friends, right? So I am not a person who is different from all people, right? لكن احب كل الناس مش معناها ان انا ايه 
ابا ايه في نفس الخط مع كل الناس يعني اللي تقوله صح ما تقعدش لا يعني ايه قول اللي انت عاوز تقوله وكلامك صح رايت right? like هنا يس لازم نحب كل الناس لكن في نفس الوقت لازم نبقى متاكدين ان اللي احنا عارفينه وان اللي احنا بنؤمن بيه هو الكلام الصح لايك like هو ده الصح سو so هنا الايه دي بتقول او انت مش واثق في ايمانك انت هتقع لايك like انت هتسقط رايت right? سو so ان ان انت لازم تبقى واثق في ايمانك ازاي تبقى واثق في ايمانك هي الايه الثانيه ان انت تسال تسال وتتعلم وتفهم رايت right? هي حاجه انت مش واثق فيها اسال عشان تثق فيها فاهم سو so هي دي الفكره يعني ايه مش عشان قلت لك ايه ما تكرهش باقي الناس مش معناه ان ايه ما تبص واثق في ديانتك رايت right? حب كل الناس لكن برضو ايه اثق في يا اثق في ايمانك في ايمانك رايت سو هي دي الفكره اوكي ذا نيكست بار از Clearly, fanaticism means I hate everybody that's wrong, right? So then, the cure to fanaticism is exact opposite. It's true love, right? What is true love? Like, what what does true love actually mean? True love means like like genuine love. Like like I could sit here. We've all had that Sunday school sermon that said, "Hey, Habibi, please apologize. Like, you really need to apologize. Like, hey, Habibi, please apologize." And we go, clearly, you're not sorry. So then, I could say that I love everybody, but unless I really like. I can't tell you if you love everybody, but you can, and God can too, right? So this is the idea of true love, right? So here is the verse that says, "Love one another as I have loved you," right? So God, God Himself tells us, "Love one another as I have loved you," right? And so that means true love, like God loves us like more than our parents love us, right? So therefore, we have to love others the same way, like actually love them, right? Like actually want to have them around. I can't say, "I love." You know that person over there, but I don't want to eat lunch with him. That how do you love him? That doesn't make sense, right? I can't say, oh, I love that person over there, but I don't want him to play with me, or I love that, right? Like I, you can't, right? And then in in its relation to fanaticism, right? Mother Teresa is like one of the most famous like Catholic nuns, right? And her quote was really important. She goes, "I love all religions, but I am in love with my own, right? I love all religions means I love all of them. I love all those people." But I am in love, right? In love means it's a two-way thing. Like I, me, and this thing love each other, right? Loving all religions shouldn't stop me from loving my own religion and being in love with it, right? I love all people, right? Like my parents love all people, but they are in love with me, right? So it's a stronger bond, right? And so that's why Mother Teresa says, "I love all religions, but I am in love with my own," right? So. عشان نحل مشكله اللي يبقى عندنا محبه حقيقيه محبه جايه من القلب رايت لايك لازم نبقى ايه اكشلي حابين باقي الناس رايت هنا نحب باقي الناس بابا يسوع قال لنا ان احنا نحب بعض كما هو حبنا رايت سو هي دي الفكره ان انا ايه يعني ايه بص على كل الناس واحبهم واحبهم بمحبه عميقه ان انا ايه واحد عاوز مني ما اقدرش اقول ان انا بحب كل الناس لكن اول ما حد يحتاج مني حاجه اقول له لا مش هديك رايت But I clearly miss Bahibu, right? Clearly, I miss Bahibu. So here is the idea, right? So the idea that we talked about is that one has to be strong in faith. And he asks if he has questions. And the second thing is that the human has to be strong in faith with the people around him. Okay? Yeah. 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 Ye
you have to be able to stand there and say, yes, I can do it, right? So this, again, so now we're talking about like how to go against fanaticism, right? Just because I agree with all people doesn't mean I'm going to let everybody step on me, right? I'm not going to let everybody just step on me and tell me what I can and can't do. No, I'm going to tell them that, hey, I can do this. Hey, I am allowed to do this, right? Being accepting of other people doesn't mean giving up my own rights, okay? So the first one, right? The first one was standing firm in the faith. The second one is true love. The third one is demanding one's rights. Okay, and now we're on to the last one. Cures for fanaticism is finding common ground, right? Finding ways we relate to other people, right? I have to find a way where I relate to other people. I can't love you unless I we relate, right? You see here Pope Tawadros meeting with a guy from Saudi Arabia, right? And here the picture was cut off, but it's Pope Tawadros meeting the Catholic Pope, Pope Francis, right? So in both situations, the only way we can actually become good people and save this earth and love each other is by coming together, right? And by coming together, the devil, right? In the first slide, the devil is no longer going to be happy, right? He's happy because we're going against each other and we're destroying each other, right? This doesn't make the devil happy. This makes God happy, seeing that we're getting along with others, right? We're making the church a safe, we're making the world a safer place to be. I have to love everybody, right? Regardless if I disagree with their ideas or not, I have to love them. I have to love everybody, okay? You may have any questions. If you have any questions, I'll stay behind and you can type them in the chat. You can just text me privately. If not, I think we're done for the day.